right, I'm Ron Smith, Extension Etymologist, here with uh, Dr. Scott Graham, uh, new etymologist for cotton, uh, soybeans, and peanuts in Alabama with Extension Service. Today we want to talk about grasshoppers just a few minutes because they have been a, uh, we've had more pests, uh, more calls about the grasshopper pest than anything else this spring, and this is nothing totally new. Uh, actually, we've been dealing with this grasshopper issue for 10 or more years. It really began when we started burning down fields and planted it with reduced tillage, as you can see in the field behind us here. Uh, in, in mild winters, uh, when we have maybe less than normal rainfall, there are sandier soils in the state, which basically includes about everything from Montgomery South. Uh, we're just getting a lot of old winning grasshoppers. They uh, spend the winter in a little little pod or a little uh, tube down in the soil and they come out in the spring but they don't call come out at the same time so they emerge over a six or eight week period and uh, it's just uh, we never know when they're going to feed on our seedling cotton or not the su most susceptible stage is uh, when the uh, the cotton is in the crook stage or the cotyledon stage and uh, you may find a lot of grasshoppers in the field we don't have a threshold for it probably never will have because some years they'll be out there for weeks and never damage a plant and other other years you'll come out and overnight they've wiped out your stand you'll have to replant we've got a couple of places like that this year so uh, it's just uh, the risk that a farmer wants to assume but we're suggesting spraying for grasshoppers and if you'll notice the deeper sands will, and the, uh, the certain fields will have a a propensity to have more grasshoppers every spring so we need to particularly key in on those fields and we need to include a grasshopper adulticide and and kill them even though they may be in immatures kill them when we burn burn down our product and we'll put some demolin in there which has a long residual it's an insect growth regulator and it would take care of those that come out later so we're just suggesting we go if a if a grower don't want to assume a lot of risk they're going to have to uh, include grasshoppers as a pest of cotton to deal with in reduced tillage fields and particularly the deep sands of the state. And that would include also Cherokee County, and those areas up in northeastern Alabama. Well, what's the best adulticide for? That's, that's a good question. The best adulticide is uh, when they're immatures, uh, about anything labeled for cotton is a very adequate treatment on, uh, on immature grasshoppers. But, after about 30 plus days from the time they emerge, they become adults. And adults are very, very difficult to control. There's really only one product we're recommending right now for adult grasshoppers, and that is uh, acephate orthene at three quarters of a pound. So another point we'd like to make on grasshoppers is you need, when, you're, when you're scouting the field and walking around and, and looking for them, you need to make sure you're walking through the entire field. With some pests, maybe we can get away with just making a border spray, uh, but often the grasshoppers are, are probably going to be throughout the entire field. So you need to make sure you're, you're walking and looking and observing for grasshoppers and be prepared to spray the whole field and not just borders.